Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about using Drive Clone Pro to back up your data to your DNS 321. Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So what we were going to talk about today is using Drive Clone Pro to back up the data on your PC to the DNS 321. Now the DNS 323 and the DNS 343 still ship with Mimeo for doing backups. So we're not going to talk about those today. What we are going to talk about is the DNS 321. It uses Drive Clone Pro, which is a little bit different than the Mimeo software. If you have the Mimeo software or you buy uh, a 323 or a 343 and it comes with Mimeo on the CD, you're still fine. Go ahead and watch episode 25 and that'll walk you through the whole thing. The new software that we ship is a little bit different where Mimeo backs up uh, individual files to the uh, network attached storage device. Drive Clone Pro is going to take a snapshot of where you have your data stored and then you know, transfer it onto the 321. So the first thing we need to do is get the software installed. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is install the Drive Clone software. So let's go ahead and run through the installation. And when that gets done, we'll set up and configure it. Now, before you can start using uh, Drive Clone Pro, you're going to need to restart your computer. The reason being is because Drive Clone is going to create a system snapshot before Windows loads. And I'll tell you the reason for that uh, a little bit later on. So now that we have the software installed, what I want to do is show you how to take a snapshot of the data that's on your PC and then have the Drive Clone Pro back it up to the DNS 321. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do a file backup with Drive Clone Pro, what you want to do is you want to be at the main console screen of uh, once you start the software and then click the file backup link and there's two options. Incremental is once you've already done an initial backup, um, you can use the incremental file backup. But if this is your first time, what you want to do is you want to give um, your file backup a name and then click the get started button. Now there's uh, a bunch of different options here where you can have it go through your local hard drives and like find all of your video files or all your documents or all your music files or um, what you can do is you can click this add files and folders button here that will look at your hard drive and then you can just pick a specific folder so um, once this window opens you can take and use these arrows to drill down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the my music folder you click OK and that shows that the my music folder is the one that's going to be scanned then when you click the next button um, what it's going to do is it's going to want you to choose a, uh, a place to put your um, backup files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in uh, my DNS 321 and then I'm going to put it in the music folder. And then when I click next it's telling me what I'm going to do. The name of my job is music. It's going to put it in the music folder on my DNS 321 and um, then I click next and it should start the scan. Now what it's going to do is it's scan, going to scan all of the files and find any that are in the My Music folder and then back them up. Now once this is done, I'm going to show you how to restore a file. So now if you want to restore a file, um, from the main console screen, if you click the Restore tab over here on the left, you can click the Restore Files button. Now if you click here you'll see these are the different backup jobs that I've created now the one that we did was music so we click that and then the get started button now what this is doing is it's um, asking me to restore it where I want to restore the files to so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select another folder and then this blue text here that says select a folder I can say on my desktop um, I'm going to just create a folder called restore and then create a new folder. Now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and go in to the uh, my music. This is actually inside of the backup folder 
and I can say pick one folder and then what that will do is it'll restore the music that are that is in that one folder um, that I asked it to restore so you can pick individual files to restore or whole entire folders or you can just select everything and say restore everything it's that simple so you remember how I said that Drive Clone Pro loads before Windows does? What's cool about that is you can install your operating system and all of your applications and then create a snapshot of that perfect environment. And then what happens is if you get any type of virus or malware or uh, something else happens to your computer, you can restore that save spot and then your computer will work perfectly again. So that's going to do it for this episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.